welcome back to day 15 of Vlogmas. Um, I took a couple of days off of recording. I'm putting out any videos um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just because I had a big work project that I'm trying to finish and I'm almost done with it. And then I'll be done, oh, be so good. Anyway, um, I just was feeling a little overwhelmed and I needed to prioritize that. So I haven't put out any videos, but today we are going to kind of have like, a holiday crafting kind of day and the boys are and I the boys and I are going to make some holiday kinds of crafts that we're gonna put around the house these items that we're gonna make were in our advent calendar little to-do activities for the past couple of days the things we've missed and I want to show you guys this let me flip myself around here so all the lights coming in through those windows but look my advent calendar fell down yeah it was a bummer so it's like actually right here on my table <laughs> Um, yeah, so what happened was the other day Ezra kind of pulled on it and it, it pulled a piece of the tape off and it stayed up. It was fine. But then I think the weight of it, um, eventually caused the whole thing to just fall. Um, because we went to bed, I got up the next morning and Dean said, I'm so sorry, but your advent calendar was in the floor today. And it actually broke the string when it fell. So I actually just need to go and pull all the tape off the door frame. And I think I'm just going to figure out a better way to hang this advent calendar. Maybe I'll buy something that'll help to hang it up. And again, next year, our, um, our fireplace will be finished. And I can put the advent calendar on there. And it'll be a little bit more stable, I'm thinking. Anyway, Dean has been working on the fireplace this weekend. So I'm going to flip the camera around. And I'm going to show you guys the fireplace. And then I'll have the boys come in. And we'll go over the advent cards that we have missed so far since we haven't been doing them for a few days and the activities that we're gonna get into today. Okay, so the boys are playing in their bedroom. So if you hear them banging around, that's what that is. Um, so this is the fireplace so far. Um, I still need to paint. I have not done that yet, which is why the middle looks white and the sides of the walls look creamy. Anyway, he's got the rock all the way around this side, um, almost to the top here. You know, obviously the hearthstone and the inside rock are all done. Um, on this side, he has nothing on the other side of the fireplace yet. And this part right up here, we're going to have, um, what do you call that? Like a keystone. And then the rock are going to turn a different direction. So that's going to have like a little decorative element. So he is going to, I think, work on the keystone and then that top part first. And then he'll finish wrapping the rock around this side, the side in the front. And then he'll just start over here and work his way up and all the way around the back. And as soon as all of that's done, which actually he was saying that we may be able to put the wood stove in before he's finished with the rock, but I don't know that he's going to. Anyway, so as soon as all of that is done, I will tape up and wrap the rock in some plastic, I think. And then I'm going to paint that top piece and, you know, out here on the walls a little bit. Um, and then we have to go buy some slabs of walnut because our, um, the, the, actually the bookshelves that are going to go on the side, I couldn't, shouldn't call them bookshelves. They're just shelves. They're floating shelves that go on the side. Well, actually they're not floating shelves because I'm going to have L brackets on there. I found these decorative ones that I wanted to buy. Um, so there will be like four or five shelves on each side and then the mantle will be from that walnut slab. So we're going to do that and they'll tie in some colors really well. Anyway, so this room, he's kind of a mess, but he, he did clean up and mop the floor the other day after he was done because it looked like a big white disaster over there. And then when that's done, you know, we still have the crown molding to put up everywhere. So our little house, house to-dos are slow, but they're steadily coming along. So anyway, guys, so we have um, day 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're going to read those Bible verses, but... We are not going to pull the activities out of the bags in the back. Actually, I don't think any of them have bags. Oh, yes, um, those. But that one's empty. I already checked it. But we're going to do the activities that we missed last week and this weekend. Okay. So, Judah, can you flip day 12 over and mm -hmm. maybe read that verse? There, there is an activity in this one. Oh, let me see it. Go ahead. That may be like one of the things okay. we're going to say. And all who want to be registered, each to his own went, town. Went to be registered. Went to be registered, <laughs> each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Be Bethlehem. Because I said Beethoven. <laughs> because he was of the house of and lineage. and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, 
his betrothed who is with child. Luke 2, 3 through 5. Very good. All right. Next, are you going to read them all? Yeah. Yes, no, says. you have to um, read the cursive. The cursive? Wait, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. You didn't read the cursive. Right. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Luke 2, 6 through 7. Okay. And then Luke 2 through 8. No, 2, 2, 8. Um, I'm sure. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. You guys gonna read the last one? Can you read it, right? Say yow. <laughs> and an angel <laughs> and, and an angel of the Lord <laughs> appeared? appeared around them, and they were filled with fear. What? Very good. It's an angel. Let's see the cursive word that you got. Show mom. Ah, the glory of the Lord shone around them. Did you just skip that part? Oh, you skipped the cursive. He's like, this is cursive. I'm just going to skip reading that. I'll read the print. <laughs> no, I tried saying it. I said, the you of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Good job, though. Okay, so those are our cards that so we're up to date with our Bible verses telling us the Christmas story of Advent. And so today what I was thinking we would do, here's some things we missed. So one thing um, in our Christmas unit study, nice earrings there, bud. Um, we are supposed to make paper snowflakes and we can tape them in the windows, like around the tops of the windows to kind of decorate the windows a little bit. And there's a little tutorial to tell us how to make lots of different kinds of paper snowflakes. And so we'll do that. And then we're gonna take those oranges over there and we're gonna take a bunch of cloves and we're gonna decorate the oranges with cloves. Those are called orange palmanders. They smell really good. Yeah, we did that years ago when we lived on the mountain. Um, are you being gentle with Charlie? This like is mostly pain and suffering. Oh, don't put him on the table. It's this is pain and suffering thing. extract. It hurts. Oh yeah? Gonna... We'll take them off. Y'all look so oh, silly. No. <laughs> Be careful here. Ezra, get Charlie at the table, oh, please. Why are you doing boy? He's okay, like, what am so I guys, so guys, look at me. Pay attention, please. We're gonna make paper snowflakes. We're gonna do the orange pomanders. And we will get the last bit of our Christmas cards done so we can get them mailed out and get them to the people they go to before to Christmas. Dean. We are way behind on our little Christmas cards you guys are making. Yeah, you can make one for Dean, okay? So, Judah. You go get the art stuff out from under Zaya's bed. Isaiah, you open up the bag of oranges, and Uriah, you get Mama's herb cabinet and get the jar of cloves out. Isaiah's okay.
Okay, so we only had time to get to the orange pomanders and the um, paper snowflakes today. We did not get around to getting our Christmas cards finished. Hopefully we'll get to that tomorrow and get them sent out. Oh, anyway, um, thank you guys so very much for watching today's Vlogmas video. Again, I'm sorry that I missed a few days, but I just needed a little break to finish up some work projects. Hopefully I will be very consistent this week with Vlogmas. Um, We'll just see how the week plays out. Anyway, I will hopefully catch you guys tomorrow.